Hello, it's a pleasure to be joining you uh, today for this meeting. Uh, my name is Ralph Regan Vanu and I am the leader of the opposition in Vanuatu. Um, this is my fourth term in uh, Parliament and previously I was the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Minister of Lands in the last uh, government. Uh, I'm speaking to you as the uh, chairman of the new Pacific Parliamentarians Alliance on Deep Sea Mining, which we just launched uh, in April at the Palau Our Oceans Conference. So the main reason we have formed this alliance is basically to try and convince other Pacific Island countries to adopt a regional approach to deep sea mining. Uh, what is happening now is that the Pacific region, as you know, is at the forefront of this new experimental industry. And we now have about, we, ha we have had five Pacific Island states indicate interest in going down the path of deep sea mining. Some are quite advanced, like Nauru and the Cook Islands, and others have just expressed uh, their interest. For example, example, Tonga, Kiribati, Tuvalu. Our objective is to talk with our Pacific colleagues, uh, build up a network of legislators in the Pacific, to try and see if we can all come to a regional position, which will mean that these states that are advancing ahead of us come back and talk with the rest of us, including some states that are proposing a moratorium, like Fiji, Papua New Guinea, uh, Palau, uh, Vanuatu, Tuvalu. Uh, so we come to a regional position because in the past, regionalism has always served the Pacific Islands well. We have managed to, as a region, uh, with a joint position, uh, influence, for example, the uh, UNFCCC negotiations. We were the ones who were able to bring that to the target of 1.5 degrees Celsius. Uh, we have been able to respond very well to experimental nuclear testing in the Pacific through the Rarotonga Treaty of the South Pacific, which declares a nuclear-free zone. And so our, our argument is that the Pacific needs to adopt a regional position, and therefore these countries that are trying to move ahead without the rest of us, without a consensus, need to come back and talk with us and sit at the same table and we discuss our fears, uh, what opportunities they see in pursuing this path, so that we can adopt a regional position, which is why uh, we have adopted the position of a moratorium, not a ban. Many of us believe in a ban, but a moratorium is a com compromise position so that we can all come together and say, let's, let's agree to put off any deep sea mining until we have a regional position. And I think this aligns with the position of the PGA as well, uh, in that we are trying to get uh, the rules set out by the ISA before anyone proceeds with uh, deep sea mining. We're looking very much forward to collaborating with the PGA. We're, I was very excited to hear that you are already well advanced on this issue. Uh, I've been able to talk to the program officer, uh, Sarah, and uh, I'm looking forward to speaking with some of your members in the coming week. But um, we have some very good members of our alliance. We have legislators from most of the legislations, uh, legislatures in the, in, the, in the South Pacific, including the North Pacific. Uh, we have senators from Guam. Um, we have uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs from Tuvalu. And Tuvalu has taken a very important step just in the last month since the formation of our alliance uh, to inform the ISA that it's withdrawing its application for to proceed with deep sea mining and it's now adopted the position of the alliance. We're hoping that the other countries will. Uh, Fiji is a very strong country. The government is actually taking a stand on this issue to say there has to be a moratorium. Uh, there are other governments in the region that are taking that position. Our members, uh, as I stated, have come from the North Pacific, from all the Melanesian states, Papua New Guinea, Fiji, Vanuatu. Uh, the president of the New Caledonia Congress, which is a French territory in the Pacific, but they're looking at adopting that position for that territory. We have French Polynesia. Uh, we have uh, the Minister of Environment from Samoa. So we have some potentially very good allies and we hope very much to join into this global movement that uh, PGA is pushing ahead with and uh, provide that local perspective and support. And we hope very much that uh, we can influence the ISA at its next meeting in August uh, through working together to uh, come up with a resolution that stops any further advance on the issue of deep sea mining until we all agree on a common 
ground for it and hopefully not agree to proceed. I think that's all I'll say at this point, but it's, uh, it's an honour to be in touch with you all and I look forward to further collaboration. Thank you.